my gosh, look it. Whoa, how fabulous. Shake up a martini, pull up a chair, and let's go thrifty. This is Mid-Century Wasted. Everyone and welcome back to Mid-Century Wasted. I am Jamie and welcome to another episode of Sundays at Sears. Today we are about halfway through. We are at the halfway point of the 1968 Sears Wish Book Christmas Catalog and every Sunday I premiere a video flipping through about 50 more pages of this catalog and we've reached the halfway point as of last week. So I hope you all are ready because here we go. So last week we left off right around here. We got into some musical instruments and I really wanted to keep going last week, but I keep it a surprise for me too. I don't flip ahead to see what's coming up. As tempting as it is to keep going, I want you to get my pure, my pure original reactions to all this craziness that we see here. So let's see what's next. Okay, so we got still, still some more music yet. So you'd like to make music. <laughs> Here's some guitars. Let's see, what are some guitar prices? Easy Cordon, Easy Strumming Guitars and Ukuleles. Classic guitars, $38.95. Concert guitars, interesting. So these are probably just like beginner guitars. And we've got some super cool keyboards. Seven, Auto Harp. Oh yeah, I've heard of one of those before. There's your little ukulele. Look at that little drum for that little Ricky right there. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, look at this. Add the sound of a lively combo to your organ solos. <laughs> Have some good old wholesome family fun here. Buy an organ. Look at them. Look at her cute little romper and her painful shoes. Mom's hair is just like plastered in place. Dad looks a little sketchy. Too funny. Even includes our finest four record listen and learn organ course. Hmm. Okay. And here we got two keyboard electronically amplified reed, reed chord organ. Ooh, say that 10 times fast. What is this? Organ music for Christmas. Those are little song books, music books. And there's some more organs. Does anybody watching play the organ? Does anybody know how to play the organ? I feel like that's one of those things that is kind of like a lost art. Ooh, color. Color TV, color, color, color. Oh, and look at what they have on the TV. Of course, of course, this is 1968. The moon landing was right about to happen. That was uh, July, I believe, 1969, because we just had the 50th anniversary of that. Actually, the, my very first video on this channel was all about the moon landing and space era things space race era things. So that's so funny that they actually have the picture of it right there on the on the TV or picture of a rocket of some sort. That's got to be some sort of sci-fi fantasy looking thing, but how funny. And look at how dang expensive <laughs> a TV was. Holy mackerel. <laughs> These were not cheap at all. Sears big consoles start as quickly as tiny portables. No long, annoying wait for picture or sound, and no big surge of current through through set. So tubes last and last, and tune themselves quicker than the human hand. Our automatic fine-tuned control homes in on the best picture and sound electronically. Just flick a switch. Oh, thank God for modern technology, really. And then over here, and a colored television, so I can see you on the Christmas shows in your red suit. How funny. Included. This matching rollabout TV cart in a matching walnut finish. So you just wheel your TV over into the middle of the room. And there's a couple more of them down here. A couple more carts. So these were the portable ones on rolling carts. Instant start. I don't really understand that, but I guess it took a while for a TV to warm up or something. What in the world? 
TV with glamorous sunglasses that filter out picture haze you can't tune out for the most glare-free black and white TV ever. Okay, I truly have never seen something like this before. I did not know they had these sun glare shade things that you would put on a TV. Look at that, like super portable TVs too. Wow, this is... I feel like I'm getting an electronics history lesson right now. <laughs> this is really interesting, huh? Now, I did have a friend when I was growing up and her dad had a screen kind of like this on his computer. And he was like a computer guy in the military. And so just the fact that he had a computer in his house was kind of unbelievable to us. It was back, you know, before people had computers in their house, commonly. It was early 90s probably. And so he did have a, a screen on his computer just like this. So I can kind of picture what it is, but I did not know that this originated as a screen for a television. So that's very interesting to me. Look at that one right next to the bed, like the way you would put a radio or something. That's funny. Sears Best, our brightest, biggest picture portable. Another console one, our best big picture black and white console. Look at how much cheaper the black and white ones were compared to the color ones. I mean, the color ones were like five times this price. You see why color TV was such like a luxury. It was like, ooh, somebody got a color TV, how cool. Ah, recorders, tape recorders, cord-free battery-powered voice recorders, nothing to plug in, simple L lever or I lever control. L lever. I love her. I don't know. Reuse tape again and again or store voices forever. Mm, it's nice to be able to store voices forever. Look at her face. She's like making stink face. <laughs> Ew. They're making me sit next to a boy. How icky. <laughs> Here's another little tape cassette recorder. Single speed reel type voice recorder. Like a reel-to-reel. -reel. Here's another reel recorder. Blake's into reel-to-reel -reel tapes and stuff too. Another little cassette recorder. And ooh, look at this big one. Record in thrilling stereo. Ooh, thrilling. Whoa, that was some technological advancement right there. All right, so now we've got some walkie-talkies. So that's some nice old school technology there. Walkie-talkies. Those were so fun to play with as kids. I loved having walkie-talkies. Okay, we got a Dennis the Menace cartoon. It's called a walkie-talkie. Now we can keep in touch all the time. <laughs> I wonder if anyone could have even fathomed cell phones at this point. I mean, this was as close as you could get, truly. You could walk and talk at the same time, a walkie-talkie. And down here, long range walkie-talkie. Oh, and look at the, for when you're out hunting. <laughs> hey, Bill, where are you at? Don't shoot me, I'm to your north. Look out. All right, 10-4, over and out. From Japan, extra rechargeable nickel cadmium battery crystal sets for above oh boy oh and look we are in the craftsman i think this is the first sign of craftsman that we have had oh and they're shavers okay rechargeable cordless shavers put some lotion on me dad i told joey i've started shaving <laughs> okay that's kind of cute no money down on anything Sears sells. Charger converter is included with each rechargeable shaver. Man, look at all of just the details about, it's just an electric razor, I mean, come on. <laughs> electric shavers for men. What did these run? Four rotary shaving heads of fine quality Swedish steel. 1788. I know some people who collect these lady ones. Lady ones, 688, Lady Kenmore, 1088, 1466. We are fully in man land here now. Hmm, I feel like I'm gonna need to phone a friend on these pages, but here's a socket wrench set. Cut $5.07, I don't understand that. Now $23.88 cash. Oh, was $28.95, got it. So they, so in other words, $5 off. Got it, got it, got it. There's your set right there, probably like zero difference to the ones 
made now. Although I have heard that like Craftsman, their quality went down, but that is neither here nor there. Soldering, is that soldering? Soldering gun, soldering, soldering. Oh boy, my ignorance is showing. Uh, wrenches, vice, toolbox, man things, staple gun. Oh, I do love me a good staple gun though. I do, I do. Propane torch kit. Here's a 73 piece socket set. More Craftsman. That is the same logo, except for now it has a little copyright symbol next to it. Wrench set, car repair kit, quick release ratchets, Permanex auto creeper. Don't be creeping around my auto. Oh, look at those drawers. We just got some of those at an estate sale. And one of them was filled with like little nuts and bolts and things and, and Blake wanted it for his garage. And the other one was filled with glass beads for crafting. And so I stole all the little beads and stuff out of it. I mean, not stole, we bought them from the estate sale, but then I took them all out so that Blake could have the little container and we didn't realize that it wasn't nuts and bolts inside. So I got to have all of those little crafting beads and stuff to sort through to either sell or keep some of them. Machinists, eight drawer steel chest, two and a half foot shelves with 50 plastic drawers. Wow, that's a big one. That looks handy. Nice little revolving parts caddy. Those definitely are handy. That, those those are handy. I see that as being like handy for crafting purposes now, but of course I guess men use it for tools and such. Oh boy, more man stuff. You know, this isn't to say that women can't use power tools, but I just personally don't really know much about them. I can use them. I took a wood shop class. A big savings on craftsmen. There's a drill and a saber saw and a fine finishing sander. There you go. Oh, Swiss Army knives, pocket knives. I guess they're not Swiss Army knives, are they? They're Craftsman, American Eagle, pocket knives. All the different switch blades and stuff on there. Nail file, knife, scissors. A little crafty rotary electric tool kit. That's like a little Dremel, right? I believe so. And over here, we've got more power tools. We've got a drill, sander, saber saw. Down here, we've got seven in one power tool, orbital sander, saber saw, hand saw, table saw, grinder, disc sander, polisher, drill press, all in one. Wow. Well, that seems like the, that seems like the way to go. Why would you get one of an individual thing when this one tool can do it all? I'm surprised they don't call it a something omatic. Slices of dices, juliennes, and more tools. I know I'm just gonna like go fast through this because to me, this is not interesting. <laughs> I don't have much to say right now about this stuff because it's like the tools are the same as they've been since 1968. So what is there really to say? Maybe just like the quality has probably gone down over the years. That's probably about it. Other Otherwise, you know, they're the same tools essentially. Here's more, more tools. One six inch electric grinder with extra rubber abrasive wheel, wire scratch wheel and grinding wheel dresser. Some sort of a grinder. Okay, don't know what that is. And yeah, there you go. Can we be done with tools now? Nope, can't be done with tools now. Can't be done with craftsmen, you know? 10 inch radial arm saw plus steel stand with two drawers. Ooh, there's a big bubba. 12 inch band saw. I have used one of those before. I know what they are. Oh, well, there's a lathe. It's just not that interesting to me. Drill press. Tilting arbor bench saw with motor stand, blade guard, switch, and extension. I'm sure anyone who's into like building things or woodworking or whatever, maybe they'll see something interesting in, in all this that I don't see. Gem making equipment. Okay, that's, okay, we're starting to get into something a little bit more interesting. So is this like for polishing stones and things? Rugged lapidary tumbler, lapidary. So it's like a rock tumbler kind of, is that what that is? Assorted grinding and polishing compounds. Heavy duty gem maker lets you cut, grind and polish without changing wheels. Huh, cool. That's kind of cool. Wonder if that was like a, a common hobby back then. Oh, neat. Ultrasonic, look at the font for ultrasonic cleaner, washes with sound waves, gets items 99% clean. It's like a jewelry cleaner. I honestly like would want one of those. 
truth. What a handy thing to use to, oh, to clean jewelry is what I was going to say, but hey, dentures too. Why not? <laughs> it's a great new way to clean jewelry, dentures, tool parts, any small item. So thorough, it cleans out the tiniest crevices and blind spots impossible to reach by hand. So fast, it cleans off tarnish, grease, even caked on soil or corrosion in just minutes. All right, I want one of these. Do they make these still? They must, right? These ultrasonic cleaners. I wonder if it really did work well. Oh my gosh, are these electric socks? Oh my God, they are winterize your feet against cold weather look at the battery pack that these things had all right how many socks caught on fire i would like the statistics on that how many people's feet caught on fire because of electric socks oh my god that is so funny non-rechargeable electric socks Great for skiers, skaters, any outdoor sports enthusiasts. Simple to use, just run connecting wire under outer garment. Oh man, just run your wires up through your pants. <laughs> Simple, easy to use, no problems here at all. Oh, now we got a nice electric griddle. Come across those all the time. Actually, the ones I come across a lot are the warming plates, not not the griddles, but that's kind of kind of similar in style anyway, and the way they look. Griddles are handy. We have one. I like my electric griddle. It's more like this, but just like a little bit bigger. Yeah, it looks very similar to that indeed. Nice toasters. I like those. I like how boxy they are. I like how square they are. Our best cooker fryer dunkable and lined with no stick Teflon. I wonder when Teflon was invented. This is fun stuff. I like this. You wanna know something? You're my kind of babysitter. What is she making him? Popcorn? Must be. Automatic corn popper. Non-automatic corn popper. Well, what's the difference? You must have to like stir it or something. I don't know, but I mean, twice the price to make it automatic, so more than twice the price. Hmm, Waffle Grill has two sets of interchangeable Teflon-coated grids. There's a little Aunt Jemima Easy Pour Pancake Mix. Free coupon for box of Aunt Jemima Waffle and Pancake Mix with our Waffle Grills. Free offer void in states of Washington and Wisconsin or wherever prohibited, taxed or restricted. So sorry, Wisconsin, you don't get your free Aunt Jemima. Here we've got the Waffle Grill with the plates that flip over, so you You've got just flat side on the other side. That is extremely handy. And the popcorn poppers. We have a popcorn popper machine, very similar to this, but obviously new. And in a video I just posted, when I was shopping at a Goodwill last year, there was a really vintage one of these that I found in the box. It still had the sticker on it and everything, and I did not buy it. And the only reason I can say is because I'm not myself a really huge fan of popcorn. So I was like, well, why am I gonna buy this thing if I don't like popcorn really? But since then, my kids have started to really love popcorn. So we got, my mom actually got us like a popcorn maker like this or similar to this. And we use it all the time. And I'm like, dang, I wish I had bought that really cool vintage one last year. But who knew that a year from then, my kids would have liked popcorn. So this is what I'm talking about. These hot trays, these hot plates. I have a couple of these to sell. I do come across these a lot. That was expensive too. Those weren't like cheap or something, $12.99. That's, you know, that's probably like 50 bucks today or something, something close to it. Now this coffee urn is really cool looking. I love the shape of that, of course. Totally new design at Sears, an automatic coffee urn to grace the most luxurious table settings. Automatic signal light glows when coffee is ready and is kept warm for hours. Oh, love me my coffee. I would just fill that thing up and just drink it all day just by myself. And I love the shape of this one too. Well, both of them really, that percolator. Stainless steel inside and out, won't absorb coffee, oils, or acids. Coffee kit, great for the office or at school. Pot cups, cream, and sugar jars. Oh, that's so cute. I love it. Oh, and look, gleaming stainless steel body. It's dunkable. That's what they meant by dunkable. You can dunk it into the sink water. Also has a full bake light plastic handle that always stays cool. Hey, that's awesome. Bakelite, you know we're always looking for Bakelite. There it is. Those had Bakelite handles. I love that. Love seeing that. Oh boy. Oh, 
Well, let's get to that when we get to it. <laughs> Automatic can openers. Well, you gotta admit, it can sure open cans. He's opening all the cans. What a little menace, that Dennis. Sears Kenmore can openers. Automatic can opener, price low. Ooh, rotisserie oven broiler. Ooh, look at that. You can make your rolls or whatever that is on the top and roast your guinea hen inside. Roaster oven, juicer. Oh, all the appliances. Look at those. Nice cans of fruit there too. Look at those old school cans of fruit. Man, $17.95 for a can opener. What does this say? Metal trim hand antiqued on all except white. So all of them are antiqued except for the white one, which looks like it's still chrome or metal. Got it. Automatic can opener sharpener opens any household size can, even large juice cans. God, she's so happy with this new convenience in her life. Hostess center. Ugh. Why? Gross. <laughs> I don't like seeing that. Ugh. So it's a salad maker, a meat grinder, an ice crusher, can opener, and knife sharpener. Again, I'm surprised it's not a, you know, hostess omatic. They call it a hostess center instead. Sears Kenmore. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Blenders. Ooh, $5 cookbook included. 100 page deluxe blender cookbook included with purchase of either blender on this page. Big six speed blender has 500 watt motor and large five cup container. We asked 500 housewives what features they most wanted in a blender, then put them into one great appliance. Versatility, eight speeds for all blending needs. Power, 800 watts to zip through heaviest batter easy cleanup, and neater in-base cord storage, convenient push-button controls. Well, what more could you want in a blender? Plus, exclusive new touch-and-go button for instant-on, instant-off operation gives maximum control of blend texture because you got to get that blend texture right. It's all about the blend texture. I'm sold. I want it. I'm, I want to find that. My Ninja probably has nothing on that. Big six speed blender has 500 watt motor and large five cup container. Drink mixer, a real time saver from breakfast to midnight snack. Mixes or blends frozen juice, ice cream, drinks, light batters, soups, and sauces in seconds. What is, what is that? Ice crusher attachment. Who says you can't make a peanut butter malt? I don't say that. Hell yeah, you can make a peanut butter malt. Go for it. That sounds delicious. I want one. All right. This, come to mama. So is this uh, goes anywhere, just attach 12 inch bracket to wall, hang fireplace on bracket, like a picture and plug into 110 to 120 volt outlet. So yeah, this is an electric fireplace. Yeah, right there, electric fireplace. That one's got the eagle on it cause you know, late 60s, 70s, gotta have an eagle. But this one, and what is that on the wall? I want that too, that like abstract. Those almost look like those cats, but they're like missing their heads. So I don't know, but yeah, I love that. I want that. I don't know where I put it, but I need it. <laughs> that might also be something that like burns down your house though. So maybe not. Okay. Oh my goodness. Country and fruit cakes. Wow, they even sold fruit cakes at Sears. They literally sold everything in this catalog. Look at these. These nuts, oh, this is bad. I'm like kind of hungry right now. This is, this is not, this is not good for me. Oh, look at the chocolates. Yep, 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 yep. Popcorn balls. Crunchy popcorn balls wrapped in gay colorful cellophane, each about three inches in diameter. Look at that gay colorful cellophane. How lovely. Peanut brittle, mmm, that sounds good. This is bad. Give me all the sweets. So this is like, I wonder if we're getting into like Christmassy gift giving kind of pages here. I cannot say that I have ever had fruitcake before, but of course I know the stigma about how horrible it is and that it like ferments for months and months or some god awful thing like that. And I mean, it sure looks horrendous. <laughs> it definitely looks like, you know, a vomit loaf. Fruitcake miniatures, spicy ring fruitcake. Cordulettes, oh God, that looks fantastic. Pedophores, again, very delicious looking. Hungry, need sweets. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, ornaments. Are we getting, seriously getting into ornaments here? I'm so excited right now. 
Stockings, stuffings, and sweet surprises, 99 cents, 10 in a package. Those are those plastic ornaments that I absolutely love. Oh, look at that stocking. Look at that. It's as tall as he is, filled with little toys. Oh, how fun would it be to find one of those that's like unopened and use it as decor for Christmas? That would be amazing. Even one of these little ones with all those old toys in it. Can you imagine finding one of those unopened? God, look at the little Santas. A little clown. What does the clown have to do with Christmas? I don't know. Those cookie jars. 13, 14. Strawberry ceramic container filled with 12 ounces of pure strawberry preserves. Oh, it's a little, it really is a jelly jar filled with jelly and grape one too. I didn't realize that those were actually sold with jelly in them. Oh, those are cool too. Those little gumdrop trees. I like those. And what is this? Honey, the honey pot, whiskey spoofs. Oh, whiffsky. Whiffsky spoofs, old grand gag and old croak pint bottles, each filled with one pound of pure orange blossom honey. So those were honey and it was like a gag gift. Oh my gosh. Hurricane lamps filled with five ounces each of syrup, one strawberry, one blueberry. What? When empty, fill with lamp oil, wicks included, romantic, practical. They really liked. <laughs> what in the world? And then here we just got like all of the candy. Oh, I love that box. Look at the graphics on that box. 79 cents package of 36 boxes. I want that. Little gingerbread house kind of deal. All that like ribbon candy, and all those delicious, yummy old fashioned looking candies. Gosh, kids must have just gone nuts over these pages too of just all of the the candies you know like a kid in a candy store that's too fun oh man chocolates mm, boy i'm changing my name from tex to the candy kid <laughs> sears assorted chocolates so it was sears brand. Sears had a candy chocolate making factory at some point and made their own chocolates. That's crazy. That's so unexpected to me, I guess. What is that? Dietetic hard candy? Even if you're on a salt restricted diet or watching your weight, you can still enjoy these sweet tasting treats, assorted fruit flavored candies and others each individually wrapped. Dietetic. <laughs> Okay. Tempting assortment of 34 miniatures, may, all made without the addition of salt or sugar. Ugh, just must have tasted horrible. Come on now. Hey, Hershey's Kisses. Well, those look the same. Chocolate coins. That's a go-to in our house for bribery chocolate for our children. Oh, chocolate apple. Does anybody ever get those chocolate oranges? They break apart like that. You like whack it and then it breaks apart into little pieces. They look like little orange slices. I've never heard of a chocolate apple before. Mmm. So hungry and craving chocolate now. Country in chocolates. I really like the boxes here that they have for these chocolates. Finding empty chocolate boxes is kind of like a fun find too when you're shopping estate sales or thrifting and stuff. I know that people do collect those and display them, especially for Valentine's Day time of year. And the tins, of course, too. How fun even more oh man cheese they're cheese gifts the cheese gift boxes it's boxes of cheese i'm seriously gonna have to eat something after this you guys don't even understand oh look it's a fondue kit you've got all your cheeses and the little forks oh my gosh these little like gift boxes filled with cheese european tour all european cheeses he-man what is that? He-Man cheese assortment. Special cheeses that pack a keen taste treat for fanciers that prefer zesty, robust flavor. So what, only men can like zesty cheese? Come on, man. Oh, and here we got fancy mixed nuts, country in, jams and tea, cheese and jam. I am, I am a person who is fond of these types of things, like at Christmas time. I don't like the ones that have like the meats and salamis and stuff in it but if somebody wanted to give me a big box of cheese for christmas it would be one of the best gifts ever <laughs> i love fancy cheeses look that one came in like a chafing dish what is that 10 chafing dish covered glass dish rests on embossed metal frame chrome plated cover candle holder below nine inch diameter packed with five ounces of cheese and spreads plus seven and a half ounces of cherry mint apple and port wine jellies okay look at all of this 
All the cheese and crackers, please. Worldwide gourmet foods, cheese and fish. Oh man, it's gotta be like smoked fishes and things. Yes, I'm all for it. I am all for all of this. Well, there's the salami ones that I was talking about. Those, I'm not fond of those, but cheese and meat snacks, ham. No, 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 not really into that one. But the like cheese and cracker barrel thing right there. Bristol Farm, hey. Okay, okay, okay. My gosh. These are the first 18 pages devoted exclusively to holiday decorations. Items specifically selected for the season and brought together in this one section for your shopping convenience. We're in the holiday pages, everyone, and we're only on 336, so we've got about 14, 15 more pages to go for this episode anyway. Authentic St. Catherine cutter of beautiful hand-finished, hand-shaped basswood. Basswood? Basswood? Don't know. $1,500. Holy sled. <laughs> Whoa, that is, as an outdoor ornamentation, it would enhance the beauty of any home from Miami to Alaska. So it's literally just decoration and it's $1,500. Whoa, is this an artificial Christmas tree? I'm assuming, yes. Created of not just vinyl, but magnificent polyvinyl chloride, just like our finest trees. Crispy short needles set in at just the right angles, twisted into heavy gauge wire so branches won't sag when decorated. Ooh, look at that. So realistic. And here's your garland. Seldom will you see a lighted scotch pine garland and matching wreath priced so low. Low, low price. I love it, I love it. Oh my goodness. Here we go, people. I mean, come on now. This is what it's really about, is it not? Tis the season. Sears introduces a truly outstanding artificial scotch pine. The great outdoor tree stays up 365 days lighted for Christmas. Wow, you would really put that in your yard. For tree above, we specifically recommend these outdoor lights. Yeah, please. <laughs> and there's Santa. Oh God, tell me it's the suit. Oh, it is. It's the pride of the North Pole himself, complete in soft, pure white, full wig and beard of 100% virgin nylon fibers. Budgeted price suit, medium price suit. Oh, look, there was different like levels of suits. Oh my gosh, it's so, what? There, there's, there's a ceramic Christmas tree in this. Look at that, 21 inch mini light tree. Enchantingly different, wind lit, magical simulated lights at each branch and glow like tiny precious jewels. Unlighted, the tree looks like a hand glazed ceramic. Styrene, UL listed cord styrene. So wait, it's not a hand painted ceramic. Hand glazed ceramic, it's styrene. So it's like a blow mold, right? Am I understanding that correctly? I don't know. Never seen something quite like that before. Sears introduces its great new away from home Christmas tree. A full 24 inches tall loaded with ornaments ready to mail any place in the world. Aww, that's sad. Was that for like troops? I feel like it might have been. You would send them a little tree filled with ornaments. Aww, decorated or undecorated tabletop trees up to four feet tall, including stands, last for years. I like that one with the little <laughs> red tips and flocking. Look at that one. Tree skirts. Oh, I love me a vintage tree skirt. Those are nice ones too. Velvety plush, custom look trim, and the stands. Oh, these are nice. Oh, this year, pick a natural look tree built to last for years. I didn't really know that artificial Christmas trees were such a thing back then, but I guess they were. So here they are. I do like the white ones. They're kind of fancy. That one's kind of cute too. I'm sure that's one of those things where all of this stuff just sort of crumbles off and gets everywhere. I'm sure. We recommend miniature lights for all trees on this lot. Okay. Instant real pine, aerosol captured, that's the answer. You won't miss a single bit of the thrilling fragrance of genuine pine. Sears puts it in a spray can. <laughs> Compressed real pine oil provides a lingering scent for tree branches, seven ounce. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, look at how majestic and magical. Tis the season, everyone. Ooh, yes. Holiday coordinates. Oh. There's knee huggers on those. Look at the cute little knee hugger elves and it's the wonderful plastic foliage. Oh, I would take 
any one of those right now if I could find one. And I love this one too. Look at just how modern that one looks. And these are totally made of plastic. Look at the, the close up of the plastic garland there. That is exactly the kind of stuff that I am totally looking for right now. And here we've got some gold ones and twinkle light wreath with the bell. Look at these ones with the fruit on it. Lifelike pine heavy laden with walnuts, cones, superb fruit, polyethylene. <laughs> what is this? Lighted lantern garland. 10 tinsel frosted lacy white lanterns with holly, nine foot chain. I haven't seen anything like that before. That's kind of cute too. I know a lot of people are not fond of this kind of stuff, but I love it. Dramatic lights and candles. Set off our most lifelike scotch pine accessories. And here's ones with the cherubs and angels. Ugh. It's just all so wonderful and retro and vintage and fabulous. Oh my gosh. Oh, how cute. Sears garlands rival the beauty of natural scotch pine. They're really pushing the scotch pine stuff, aren't they? Decor centerpieces, 18 to 36 inches high. I want, I want, I want. Love, bushy scotch pine roping. <laughs> Here's more Northwoods spray. Real pine scent, you just spray on. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's too funny. Ooh, that's neat. Six, are those blow molds? Six, Noel candles convey the message of the season screened on red vinyl styrene. I think it's gotta be, styrene must be the actual name for like the blow mold plastic. I think, I really think that's what those are. Those too, wow, I haven't seen those ones before. Look at these candle looking blow molds. I really like these door coverings, I guess. Maybe put on the your front door. Make it look like it's like a wrapped present or something. Oh, they're really cute. Garage door ones too, look at that. That's so cute. I wanna do something like that. Oh my gosh, look it. Whoa, how fabulous. Beads and garlands go everywhere. Deluxe garland, extra thick garland, silver color garland, bushy garland, pearlized bead chains. Oh my goodness. One of each, please wrap it up, send it to me. Golden angel figure, treetop ornaments. Oh, I really like that one. One of those like tinsel light up stars. I would love to find one of those. Oh gosh. It's like tinsel, but it's a big drape that you would drape over. Oh, I've never heard of that. Speedy drape, hangs over a hundred icicles at once. <laughs> oh man, you got your hooks and your icicles or tinsel. 14, high reflectivity globes. Oh, I love those. Look, 76 cents, two boxes for $1.46. Box of 12 glass balls, 76 cents. 97 cents for those ones, because those are fancy. Hold all storage chests for all the tree trimmings. That box is awesome. Oh my gosh, I would love to have that to hold all my ornaments. Look at the graphics on the outside. That's a great one. Oh, all these are just incredible. Peppermint candy balls, apples for Santa, old fashioned teapots, heirloom look keepsakes, three dimensional teardrops. Oh, those are neat. They've got like different color little tinsel things inside. Six nativity scene teardrops. Those are so cool too. Look at the pink. Oh my gosh. Seven imaginative stars, flowers. Those are like shamrocks. Frosted starbursts. Nine miniature toy drums. Flying saucers. Those red ones were called flying saucers. Satin ones. Oh my gosh. Red satin wrapped foam plastic shaped like cute Martian spaceships. There's even a sparkly jewel underneath to serve as cabin light. I am determined, this is my new life's mission, to find those. They were sold as flying saucer ornaments. I must have them. This ornament assortment only looks expensive with extra detailing, glamour, and glitter. Ugh, I don't like glitter though. Glitter gets everywhere. But still, it's not like I would turn it down if I found some real authentic 1968 glitter ornaments. <laughs> ah, Merry Dozen ornaments in choice of three styles. Shining satin yarn wrapped ornaments, sparkly gold color snowballs, Storyland miniature church bells. Those ones are super, super cute. Ooh, I really like those. I like the satin ones too. I do like the satin ornaments. They're probably like second to the mercury shiny brights. Oh, yes, so cool. 
the magical miniatures, pure sorcery for indoors, positive must-haves for artificial trees. For best coverage, we suggest using a minimum of 35 lights per foot of tree height. Yeah, that's a good tip. Five-way twinkle, twinkling color, color changers. Oh, those ones are from Italy. I like those. Those are so fun. Those are so fun. This is just putting out so many more things on my want to find list for this year's Christmas decorating. Sears weatherproof miniatures. Oh, we got a cartoon. They're outdoor lights, right? And Ruff's house is outdoors, right? <laughs> Aw, <laughs> why not decorate the dog house? Cutie. Here's the the ones that I am always looking for too. Indoor, outdoor, C7 and a half. What is this here? 10 light novelty sets with push in bulbs. So charming, unique, stay lit even if one bulb goes out. <laughs> you elicit from Japan, sets three and four from Italy, replacement bulbs. Those are really cool. Last page, I'm sad to say we have reached the end of this episode. Oh, what a way to end it. Look at this. Oh. They're little putz houses. Each fairy-like house sparkles as if lit by its own cozy, warm hearth fire. 12 cardboard pieces. Yep, they are. They are little putz houses made in Japan. I just so wish I could tear out the order form and send in and get these right now. I love them so much. Now, what are these? Are these just little figurines, little figures? Three kings, gift-bearing, jewel-like adorned figures. So they're just figurines, I guess, then. Two, musical revolving angel. Three, lighted musical church. Oh, this stuff is just all so wonderful, but the look on that guy's face is pretty great. <laughs> look at that Santa. What is he? Unique Santa centerpiece. Revolves, plays jingle bells. Santa has a flowing beard, bag of gifts, sleigh, deer, six by 10 inches long, Japan. Oh, wow. That's special. Merry Christmas doormat. Six is a musical revolving scene. Seven is a 14 piece nativity, price low, yet has more figures than any other nativity set we sell. All details nicely painted on long life plastic. So it's a plastic nativity. Here's under $1, Santa face soaps. Oh my gosh, what I wouldn't do for a Santa face soap. From 1968, gold colored angels. Oh my gosh, what are those? Two hot pad mitts. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? That is everything. Of course, all of this like really cutesy cute stuff is from Japan. You can kind of just tell. There's the under $2 section. I mean, this is some of the nicest stuff I've seen. This is some of like the stuff that is my, <laughs> my taste. This has got my taste written all over it. I guess um, Tacky Christmas is just my fave. That's my fave. I love Tacky Christmas. And here we're ending last page for today. We're ending on nativities. Oh, for indoors and for outdoors. Here's the big old blow mold nativity. The one where everybody always loses baby Jesus. For some reason, they always steal baby Jesus. But look at that. So that's what they looked like in their heyday. Brand spanking new with no scratches or anything. How much was it? 1674 four piece set. Okay, so you would buy the basic set with Mary, Joseph, baby Jesus, and the crib. I see, with no straw, straw not included. So that was the four piece, basic four piece set. Then the manger shelter was an extra upcharge. Shepherd and two lambs was another 12 and a half bucks. Three wise men, another $22. Donkey and ox, 12 and a half. Camel, the camel alone was $7. Wow. Well, no wonder. I mean, these were, that was pricey. It really was. To get all of those, like you'd have to collect those over like multiple years. And then there's one nativity. Features galore, tinkling music boxes, play silent night, unique lighting effects, show off minute detailing of figures. And all three styles have dependable UL listed cords. Yes, you would not want this manger scene catching on fire. <laughs> that would not be a good omen for Christmas whatsoever. There's the antiqued one. And there's their, our very finest. Those are very, very pretty. Smaller sizes, unlit for placement anywhere. These are paper mache from Italy. I can't say that I've seen those ones really. Actually, I see ceramic ones. And look at, here's another outdoor one. Look at that. Like all gold. I didn't know that was a thing. I don't think I've ever seen those before. Maybe they weren't as popular. They're not as expensive. Was it still 
blow mold. Oh yeah, weatherproof, break resistant plastic lasts for years. Look at the prices on those. Oh, there's like a big set and a little set, like a tall set and a shorter set. Tallest figure three feet high, tallest figure two feet high. Well, okay, I cannot believe I have to actually stop right now, but we're at page 351. So we're gonna have to just continue next week. I hope there's more Christmas stuff in here because uh, gosh, I mean, I just hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. <laughs> So thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for anyone who joined me in the chat. It was so nice to talk to you. I'm sure, I'm sure we had a grand old time looking at all of this awesome Christmas stuff. If you're watching on the replay, I would love for you to leave a comment and let me know what you thought about all of this, all of these goodies. So until next time, bye everyone. Thanks for watching.